1 John 2, 9. He that saith he is in the light and hateth his brother is in darkness even until now. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whither he goeth, because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. 1 John 3, 15. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer, and you know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. 1 John 4, 20. If a man say, I love God, and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? You are a liar. You lied about the phone conversation Jason had with Jack Fag Scomp. Yep. I already mentioned you lied about the King James Bible being your authority. Yep, yep. You have pornography in your office. That's right, that's you right. Scott book that talks about sexual acts with yep. God. That is wicked as hell. Amen. You're in a cult. You don't care what the Bible says. Matthew 15, verse 7. Ye hypocrites, well did Isaiah's prophecy of you, saying, This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. You believe the teachings of Jack Scott, which don't come from the Bible. Right. Salvation without eternal security. Salvation by being sorry. The King yep, James the Bible has errors. Yep, the divine intimacy. You're redefining simple words. That's a cult. Yep. That's right. You don't care that God says he hates some people. We should hate some people. Some people are beyond the point of getting saved. Eternal security is the gospel. Man, that's right. You care what your dictionary says. Uh -huh. That's right. Jack Scott says. You are a heretic. That's right. Proverbs 19.27 Cease, my son, to hear the instruction that causes us to err from the words of knowledge. Amen. If you're not going to kick out Dale Reddy, get out of that church. Amen. That's right. That's right. Get out of West Virginia University. Get out of Hiles Anderson College. Yep. That's good. Right now it's Scott School. That's right. Anyway, that's why I left Bible Baptist Church. That's now under the reprobate doctrine. Come on. Good. I'm going to show you this all over the Bible, and I won't need any Hebrew to do it because God has preserved His Word. Yeah. Psalms 12, 6, and 7 say, The words of the Lord are pure words. Right. As silver tried in a furnace of earth purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. Amen. Good. All right. Exodus 4, 21. And the Lord said unto Moses, When thou goest to return into Egypt, See that thou do all those wonders before Pharaoh, which I have put in thine hand. But I will harden his heart, that he shall not let the people go. So God didn't harden Pharaoh's heart before he hardened his own heart. That's right. But he knew this was going to happen. In the next chapter, Exodus 5, verse 1. And afterward, Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Let my people go, that they may hold a feast unto me in the wilderness. And Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord, that I should obey his voice to let Israel go? I knew not the Lord, neither will I let Israel go. Mm -hmm. And then he proceeds to make the slaves go and get straw by themselves to make brick and all that, just crank up the wickedness. This is where he hardened his heart. Exodus 7 3. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart and multiply my signs and my wonders in the land of Egypt. 7 13. And he hardened Pharaoh's heart, that he hearkened not unto them, as the Lord had said. Exodus 9 12. And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, and he hearkened not unto them, as the Lord had spoken unto Moses. Exodus 10.1 And the Lord said unto Moses, Go in unto Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart, and the heart of his servants, that I might show these my signs before him. Exodus 10.20 But the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart, so that he would not let the children of Israel go. 10.27 But the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart, and he would not let them go. Exodus 11.10 and Moses and Aaron did all these wonders before Pharaoh, and the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart, so that he would not let the children of Israel go out of his land. Exodus 14.4 4, And I will harden Pharaoh's heart, that, I shall, that he shall follow after them. And I will be honored upon Pharaoh, and upon all his hosts, that the Egyptians may know that I am the Lord. And they did so. Exodus 14.8 And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh king of Egypt, and he pursued after the children of Israel, and the children of Israel went out with a high hand. Who hardened Pharaoh's heart after he did it to himself? God. God. That's good. John 12, 37. But though he had done so many miracles before them, yet they believed not on him, that the saying of Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled which he spake, Come on. Lord, who hath believed our report, and to whom hath the arm of the Lord been revealed? Therefore they could not believe, because right. Isaiah said again, He hath blinded their eyes and hardened their heart, yep. that they should not see with their eyes, nor understand with their heart, and be converted, and I should heal them. Hebrews 6, 4. I'm going to go ahead and turn there. Hebrews chapter 6. That's good. Hebrews 
Hebrews 6, verse 4. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come, that they shall fall away to renew them again under repentance, seeing they crucified themselves the Son of God afresh and put them to an open shame. For the earth which drinketh in the rain that cometh oft upon it, and bringeth forth herbs meet for them by whom it is dressed, receiveth blessing from God. But that which beareth thorns and briars is rejected, and is nigh unto cursing, whose end is to be firm. Let's look at 2 Timothy chapter 3. Wow. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incompetent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. It sounds like Romans 1. Yep, yep. Traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. Yep. From such try right. away. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with divers lusts, ever learning and never able to come right. to the truth. Man. Now as Janus and Jambres withstood Moses, so did these also resist the truth. You that Calvinist? They resisted the truth. That's right. right. It's good. good. Corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith. Bad. But they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men, as they are also ones. Does reprobate mean? Jeremiah 6, 29. The bellows are burned, the lead is consumed of the fire, the founder melted in vain, for the wicked are not plucked away. Reprobate silver shall mean coal in, because the Lord hath rejected them. That's right. right. Romans 1. Come on. Romans chapter 1, verse 18. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God hath showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, yep. and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like the corruptible man, and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the loss of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of God into a lie, and worshiped and served the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections or even their women to change the natural use into that which is against nature. That's right. And likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman, burn with their lust one toward another. Men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving it in themselves that recompense of their error which was meek. Yep. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Right. Even a rejected mind. Yep. Let's go to John six thirty seven. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. These are not Christians we're talking about in Romans chapter 1. That's right. right. Amen. That's good. Amen. 